the students of uh, mechanical engineering third year from Dr. Devapati Institute of Engineering Management and Research, Agoni, Pune. So today we have studied about one of the microbi automatic material sorting based on height using PLC. First of all, we see which components we have used to make each. So this is our AC synchronous motor 240 volt with the RPM of 60 and the torque of 7 Newton centimeter. So this is our pneumatic double acting cylinder with the pressure range of 0.1 to 7 MPa. Uh, the extracting and retracting motion of the piston we control from a metering circuit. In metering circuit we have the for the direction control we have here uh, solenoid valve. The flow control. So these are two uh, proximity sensors uh, which are arranged in the different two heights. The first one is uh, arranged on 10 cm and uh, the second one is arranged on uh, 7 cm and these are our two components uh, with different heights then uh, the uh, component which has a height more than 10 cm which cut the sensor only those components are pushed by the piston okay so the in the output of the sensor is connected to plc so here we have our plc and, and the inputs of motor and the solenoid ball is uh, given by the our plc PLC uh, and this is uh, the controller of our PLC. You can see here um, the upper ports and lower ports. The upper ports are indicates the inputs of our system and uh, these are in uh, 12, uh, 12 ports. There are 12 ports as your uh, inputs and uh, the lower side of the controller there will be this indicates our inputs ports, input ports. Uh, there we have the extension for the controller. This is called our uh, input card there we give the our, our system inputs uh, and there we have our output which we given to the our inputs which given to the our motor and solenoid board so here we use uh, as a output relay we can also use here leds uh, motor buzzer and uh, here we can also use indicator too so uh, this PLC is this PLC is manufactured by Allen Bradley and this is the Allen Bradley 1400 series PLC. So uh, I have to mention here another one thing about PLCs. Every PLC has its own software. So, so so here for the uploading the program in the controller, we have here RS Logic software for Allen Bradley. For Allen Bradley 1400 series, here we use RS Logic software. Uh, this software we used for download our program in our PLC. So this is our uh, interface of our software. So you can see here both the lines, vertical lines and horizontal lines. The horizontal lines are called rungs and vertical lines are called rails. Uh, these are our inputs that we are indicated as the start switch and stop switch. This is normally open switch and this is normally close switch. And as an output, here we use binary 0. This is our binary 0. Binary 0. Uh, this binary 0, which gives us a digital output, this binary 0 is internally connected with a binary 0, B3 is to 0 switch, which is normally open. This uh, normally open switch is uh, inter latching with our start push button. And this circuit, this arrangement of circuit is called latching. Here we use this latching circuit for continuous output. Here we use uh, one timer, one of the timer uh, called timer on delay. Uh, this timer has two outputs called uh, timer enable bit and timer done bit. Uh, in this timer, uh, there we have to control some parameters like timer, timer base, preset and acum. When our accumulation timer, uh, accumulation timing is reaches to our preset value, then our timer will get on and give the output as a timer done bit. So these are two our proximity sensor. Uh, these are connected to two switches which are normally open. One is a top proximity sensor and another one, one is a bottom proximity sensor. They are, both are PNP type inductive proximity sensor. Then this is our binary 3 B3 is to 0, which is a switch which is normally closed. 
then this this is our binary one b3 is to zero coil which is internally internally connected with the binary one b3 is to zero switch which is normally which is normally closed uh, normally open uh, this binary switch is uh, connected across our sensors uh, this uh, first one i have to mention here another one another things the top proximity sensor is uh, arranged on our height on of 10 cm and bottom proximity sensor is arranged on height of 7 cm our binary 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 1 b3 is to 0 switch which is normally open this is our binary 3 b3 is to 0 uh, switch which is normally closed uh, this gives this binary b3 is give the input to our timer here we use timer this timer has uh, two outputs uh, called uh, in timer enable bit and timer done bit this timer has some uh, parameters like timer timer base preset value accumulation value when accumulation value is reaches to our preset value then our timer will get on and give the output as a timer done bit uh, the same timer done bit that we will give here which give the output which is connected to our solenoid coil solenoid coil here this is our solenoid coil which is connected to our uh, uh, port number 7 of our PLC then this is our uh, solenoid uh, switch which is normally open which give the input to our timer this is our another same timer here we use which gives our uh, timer done bit as a output here just here we give some uh, different values uh, of preset value here we use two second of preset value when acclimation uh, acclimation value is reaches to our preset value then timer timer will get on and give the the timer done bit or timer done bit as the input of our binary b3 coil here we use uh, two timers the first timer is used for the adjust the relative time between our sensor and our actuator and the second timer we use here for the retraction retracting motion of our piston uh, which uh, retract after two second uh, this is our and this is binary b3 uh, coil we will get energized then by the timer done bit as a input uh, this is our last rung when and when we push our stop button then our entire operation of our conveyor belt will stop so the, this is all our, our conveyor belt now let us see the working of uh, uh, automatic motor sorting uh, then this is a uh, start switch we have to push button uh, for start starting uh, there uh, there is an input uh, with the help of PLC for motor and motor is connected to the roller uh, with the help of uh, nut arrangement and uh, another uh, roller is connected freely supported with the help of bearing. How our project is run and this is uh, the, our component which uh, uh, height is more than our first uh, 10 cm. This is our next component which has a height which uh, lower than our second uh, first uh, sensor. So let us see what happens when our the lower height uh, object is going through our sensor. Side down. So you can see here there are no any actuation of uh, our uh, actuator. This is happen because the height of our component is lower than our first first so we can here again we check the our operation